you guys it's patient patty welcome back to my channel and today i'm doing a what i got for christmas haul i just want to make it clear you know i'm an adult 25 i know that christmas is not about gifts and actually a lot of these things majority of these things i actually bought for myself for christmas as christmas gifts just treating myself just look at this as more of like a holiday time haul instead of you know just bragging about what I got, um, Christmas time, New Year's, the holidays, it's not about what you get. Um, I just want to remind people, but I'm also trying to get my YouTube um, content up, so that's why I'm putting out this video. So um, just wanted to kind of make that clear. Um, I hope that everyone had a great Christmas. And I hope everyone had a great New Year's Eve. Going into the new year, I want to keep going with this grind that I've been having with filming videos and just being on top of this stuff. So, um, yeah. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this what I got for Christmas haul. The first things I want to show you that I got, and these are actually gifts that I got from a friend, are two uh, makeup palettes, eyeshadow palettes, which I really love. They're both BH Cosmetics palettes. I got the Galaxy Chic palette. It's got lots of very bold colors. And then I also got the Carly Bible makeup palette and she's a YouTuber who did a collab to make this palette again. This one I love because of the highlighters and just the natural colors that they have in here. I also love how there is a mirror on the top of this one, but uh, yeah, this is a really beautiful palette. Lots of nice neutral shades and then highlighters at the bottom. So then I got these two mugs. <laughs> I shouldn't hold them like that. <laughs> and this one says coffee then adulting, which I really love. And the other one, says don't quit your daydream and I love these mugs because they're not the normal size ones these are the big ones that you can put about two three cups of coffee in here and you can also like have soup or oatmeal and you can like even have cereal if you really wanted to so you can use these as bowls as well I love these mugs I also took some time just to kind of like splurge and um, get more makeup. Like once I got those palettes from my friend, I was like, oh my gosh, this makes me want to just, um, you know, do better with the makeup that I have and everything like that. So in addition to those palettes, which I received, I also got for myself um, some makeup brushes. And these are some really soft bamboo brushes that I got. These are by Eco Tools, and if you haven't tried like a high quality brush, which I hadn't until like a month ago, I've always used BH Cosmetics or e.l.f. brushes, but um, it makes a world of a difference. And so these are the two brushes that I got myself, and I love them. My friend actually put me on to this, but these are um, two e.l.f. palettes that I got from Target. And you know, I know e.l.f. is like low end quality, but they're definitely stepping up the quality and these two palettes are amazing, amazing, amazing. I gotta be like a real YouTuber and cover up the mirror or whatever, but yeah, so here is the contour palette. I also got the uh, blush palette too, and it's very pretty. To be honest, I did not start wearing blush until like a couple months ago. I always felt like, um, I always felt like, because I grew up in dance, when you put blush on, you look like a clown. You always have to put it like really harsh, like a little baby doll. And so I have bad memories about blush as a kid and being in dance and doing stage makeup. But then it took me kind of like growing up and seeing other people use blush to realize, okay, this does add a bit of life to my face that I was missing. Um, I don't know if you guys flip back to some of my earlier vlogs, but I barely did contour, I barely did high, well, I did highlight, but I barely did blush and I had more of just like a flat cakey face because I was just so afraid of the stage makeup look because that's how I first learned to do makeup. So I tried to do the opposite of that. And I've always used drugstore foundations, but I told myself for Christmas, I'm gonna treat myself and I'm going to get a high end foundation. So I got the Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD foundation. This is the box or the packaging. 
this is the perfect foundation for me i also realized i always always thought that i had like an yet like a yellow undertone but no found out I have a red undertone and this foundation is perfect for me because it is a bit sheer but you can like I said build it I really 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 wanted to get that black peel off mask so I found this great like package where you can sample all the stuff from Basia Basquia it came with these four products um, so first you get the revitalizing black hydration gel it also comes with the white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray and I've used this one time I can't give an honest review on it yet but um, it smells really good and then it also came with this great pretty big bottle of detoxifying black cleanser and then finally in that kit of the Bashia stuff was what I was actually looking for that black peel off mask luminizing black mask it really did a great job I saw so many blackheads and whiteheads and even like the little peach fuzzy hairs and stuff like saw it all on the mask I should have taken a video but um, yeah so this is what I got the whole kit for and it's definitely worth it so I did buy this on your mark and this is by a new brand called Formula 1006 and I found it in Ulta and um, this is with bilberry and lemon and basically it's just like a roll-on thing you squeeze the stuff out a little bit and then you roll it onto your dark spots um, in the morning and the night and I've been using this now for a week and it actually is really working then I also got myself um, a new beauty blender because I've been using this beauty blender for much longer than I should probably admit. So I ended up getting a body blender. And um, just to show the difference, this is my old dirty beauty blender, but regular beauty blender, body beauty blender. Body blender. <laughs> and this thing, this thing, girl, you can do your makeup in under five minutes. <clears throat> just with the powder, boom, 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 boom. It's really great having uh, such a big beauty blender. You don't have to use this little one. And yeah, I just have been drinking water like a fiend. So my friend actually noticed that and she got me a new water bottle. And now I have this nice blender bottle, which is really nice. And I love this water bottle. I haven't used it yet because I'm like, you know how it is when you get new stuff and you're like, I'm gonna save it for a special occasion. <laughs> and then I also got this sauna suit. So here's the top. It's supposed to help you get rid of that water weight. So you wear it while you're doing your cardio and it'll help you to sweat more and just kind of shut off those pounds. But um, I'm hoping it'll help. First I got these little loafers, which um, I really just got them for work. Um, it's just good to have a nice, ugly, sturdy shoe for work. So I got these and these are actually pretty cute, but they're just plain loafers that I got from Target. And then I also got this blouse, which was on sale, which is the only reason why I got it, but it's also really cute. Um, and I might wear it tomorrow on New Year's Day. It's got the trumpet sleeves with like a little bit of lace on them. I know some people are gonna say it's like a granny sweater, but I love this sweater and I actually wore it for a photo shoot last week. Um, and basically it's like a cardigan sweater, like granny sweater. And it's got like this beautiful um, pearl detail, silver pearl detail on it. And it was on sale, so you know, you know girl, you know. I also, for that same photo shoot, I did end up picking up these shoes from Ross, which were a super steal because you know this time of year, Ross is cleared out. It is cleaned out. You can't find a thing in that store. It's just scraps and people, you know, just wandering around and they're like a velvety material. And they're just some little booties. And I love them and they've got little flowers or like a paisley design in them. And yeah, I just love them so much. And I found this beautiful uh, glass plaque. It says, I love my cat and it's got a um, cat silhouette on it. I don't know why I need this, but uh, they can go back here. There we go. Another super important buy for Christmas and the new year for me is always a new planner. And I ended up getting this really nice one. Um, it says make it happen. It's a 16 month planner. Handwritten feel to it, like the lines, 
um, lots of space for each day. And then on the other side of the month, it's just all this room for writing things down about the month. And then as you go along in this planner, there's tons of just like um, positive quotes. Like this one says, I'm filled with gratitude for my life. And I just love stuff like this, you know. We all need things, positive encouragement and stuff like that. And for me, like a planner is a very therapeutic thing. It's where I kind of get my life together. If anyone has seen my planner from last year, actually, let me go get it, hold on. So yeah, so this is my planner from last year. Same kind of feel with like the little um, stretchy thing, but um, I kind of operate like a crazy person or a genius, whichever one you want to call me. With my planners, I'll tape uh, notes in here, put sticky notes in here. Um, I kind of just like put every single thought that I think of in here and um, I really depend on these things. And one of my favorite, favorite um, things that I got for Christmas, got myself for Christmas, um, were two new pairs of glasses. And for the past like five years, I've been getting my glasses from Zenny Optical. Um, if you don't use that site, definitely check it out. You just need your prescription. And then the glasses are really, really cheap. They're not the best quality, but it's a really good way to try out different styles and things like that. And I've been super loyal to them and very happy with them. I got this one pair with kind of like a silver rim on the top. And this is that new trendy oversized look. I'll just put them on for you guys. And then I've had this pair before, but I also got this classic pair. And the last gift for myself that I got was a lighting set. I hope you guys can see the difference with this video. I did get two umbrella lights and a backlight, and it's so nice and sturdy for like a really good price. And the last thing that I got, um, which I wanted to make a point of showing, was a card in the mail from one of my high school friends. Um, she sent me a card and she lives in Florida, um, but basically it was just, you know, saying, hey girl, I miss you, I hope the holidays are good. And I don't think she realizes how much this card has meant to me. It was tough, it's been tough. Excuse me. Um, I'm also sick, but it's been tough being out here, um, especially on the holidays. Christmas day, I was like, I was like on my deathbed <laughs> with the flu, um, with the shivers and everything like that. So then to go the next day to the mailbox and see that she had sent this to me, so I got it in time for Christmas, um, just really warmed my heart. So thank you, and um, you got something coming in the mail for you in return. And yeah, so that's everything I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that I got for myself things that I got from friends, um, and I hope you guys got nice gifts for Christmas as well. If you didn't, I hope you were just around wonderful people and wonderful family, and I will see you on my next video. This will be the last time with the Christmas tree in the background. I'm gonna have to change it up and like make something else for the new year, but um, yeah, it's been good talking to you guys, and I'll see you on my next video.